Hello and welcome back to another Roblox tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a data store. So the first thing you're going to do is go to server script service, right click on that, insert object and then a script. I'm going to name this data store script. And then right here we're going to type in require script dot wait for child and then we're going to have parentheses and quotation marks right here you're going to put the name of your module script we're going to insert over here so I'm going to type in level so if we right click over here insert object and then a module script I'm going to name this level and like we had in this script right here is going to be where you put the name of your module script. So if we go over here, this is going to be our data our data store creator. So the first thing we're gonna do is local data store equals game colon get service quotation marks data store service after the parentheses you put a colon get data store and then quotation marks when you're gonna put inside of the quotation marks it has to be a unique ID so for this I'm gonna type in tutorial and then some random numbers after that but this key has to be a unique name. It could be whatever you want, but it has to be unique or else you might be accessing somebody else's um, data store. So if you guys have the same values between the two, it might get a little um, messed up through the different uh, servers. So just make sure that this is unique. And then the next thing we're going to do is local starting starting level equals zero. This is going to be the starting level. You can set this to whatever you want and it's just going to be the starting level for each person. So I'm going to keep that at zero. And then game dot players dot player added colon connect function and then I'm going to type in player so this is just a function so whenever a player in enters the game it's going to activate this script and then the next thing we're going to do is local stats do capital. local stats equals instance dot new parentheses quotation marks and then I'm going to insert a folder. This could really be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be a folder, but it's probably the easiest thing. And then player. So this is going to create a new folder. So instance.new is basically creating something new. So like if we right click on like this and then click insert object, any of these, it's basically the same thing as inserting an object instance.new and then I'm going to type in folder so it's going to insert a new folder and then it's going to put it inside of the player that we defined right here so then stats dot name equals quotation marks stats and that's just going to be the name of the folder and then the next thing, local level equals instance dot new. And then this is going to be a number value, comma stats. This is creating a new number value and is putting it inside of stats. So this number value is going to be our level. 
then level dot name equals quotation marks level. So when when this initiates, it's going to create a new number value called level, and the level is going to be the value of our level. So if we go and change this, let's say that we want each player to be level five. So we type in level dot value equals starting level and we could just change it up here to being starting level equals five. I'm gonna keep it for zero for now though. And then the next thing, local oops local save level equals data store colon get a sync parentheses player dot user user ID and then dot dot quotation marks dash level and then in parentheses this is saying the data store colon get async getting an async is kind of like saying alright we're making sure that it has the value there and if it doesn't then we're going to create one so the next thing we're going to do is if saved level is not equal to nil then we're just saying if it's if it is not equal to zero, then level dot value equals saved level. And then our next thing that we're going to do is game dot players dot player re oops player dot remove colon connect function player this is saying whenever the player is removed from the game what we're gonna do is make it save all of the values that were changed so local ID equals player dot user ID and then local le level value equals player dot stats dot level dot value then the next thing data store colon set ac parentheses id dot dot quotation marks dash level comma level value this is saying level value equals player dot stats dot level dot value and that's just getting whatever the value is of the player and then data store the colon async set async is setting the value inside of our data store so that it'll keep it for the next time that the player comes on Forgot to add a a, um, a colon there. Now, if we hit play, player one stats level equals zero. So we can go ahead to make sure that this is working properly. Let's set starting level to five. If we hit play, and player stats level equals five. And now each time that a player would log off from your server it will save the um, values of whatever the player had so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like